Hey YouTube, it's uh, Sal here again with another video. Uh, this one is uh, this one's going out to the PlayStation 3 owners. Um, I uh, purchased this hard drive a while ago. I actually have a, a video reviewing it. It's a 500 gig USB hard drive, and it's USB powered, so it's really nice. It's small, compact, just one plug. It's not like you need another power source to turn this on, right? Okay, so I thought, great, now I can transfer some movies um, to my PlayStation, but when I loaded the movies on here and brought them to my PlayStation, my PlayStation did not see this hard drive. It did not see it as an extra disc or nothing. And I thought, well, that's really weird. Uh, I don't know what it could be. So I let it go and I actually did some searching and I, and I found out that hard drives or key, USB keys or whatever, they must be formatted as FAT32. Okay, so what I did, I took it to my computer. Now I have Windows 7 and when I plugged my hard drive in I had the option to format the hard drive as NTFS or XFAT, E-X-F-A-T. So I formatted it XFAT, brought it to my PlayStation, still did not detect. I had to use third-party software uh, to actually give, to actually format it to FAT32. And the one I used, it's free, it's called uh, FAT32 Format. Um, I'll put the download source in the description of this video. And uh, it, it, it works in DOS. Uh, at the prompt, but it's very easy to use. Uh, you unzip it, it's just one file, as you see, as you see here. It's just one file. I dumped it in the C, in the C drive, right at the root, and um, all you do is uh, plug in your USB drive. Let's say it, it, it uh, sees it as drive K. You go to uh, the, you go to where the, uh, you go to your command prompt, go to where the, um, the programmed resides where you've placed it and then you just type FAT32 format and then the drive letter so FAT you would do FAT32 format to execute it and space and then the drive letter if it was K you do space colon hit enter and it's gonna warn you now I already did it on mine and I'm not gonna bother doing it again but you just follow the instructions. It takes seconds to do. This was 500 gigs right here, 500 gigs, and it took seconds. Um, then when I brought it back to the PlayStation, it saw the uh, the hard drive, um, and it it worked just perfectly. Okay, guys. Hopefully this was of some help. This is really easy to do. the The software is free. It works at the prompt, at the uh, command line prompt, um, and it takes seconds to do. Uh, and hopefully uh, some of you will find this uh, video useful. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, have a great day.